Hi, my name's Genesis. Today, we're gonna be making oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Now, I make these cookies so often that I don't have a recipe to link for you because I make these from memory every time I make them. So I'm gonna try my best to give decent measurements so that they come out as good as possible. Another thing, you don't really need any special tools. So I'm using a hand mixer. You also just need one bowl for this. So it's a fairly simple recipe. I should have portioned this beforehand. Okay, so I'm gonna portion everything first and then we'll get started with the fun stuff. Okay, like I said before, you definitely don't need any fancy, you know, kitchen material. I'm using my hand mixer. So what we're gonna do first is, we're gonna cream the butter alone first. Should look like this. If you had it at a room temperature and softened prior, then it should look like this. So now we're adding our sugar. Oh, another thing you're going to need is a spatula so that you can bring down the sides. Once your butter and sugar are creamed, it should look like this. Next, we're gonna add in our, our flour. Give it a little mixy. So at this point, your mixture should kind of have the consistency of wet sand. And that's okay if it looks a little dry right now because we still have to add in a couple more wet ingredients. Now we're gonna add in both of our eggs at the same time. Definitely, definitely just got egg white in my hair. <laughs> Don't drop the shell in you guys. Now it should look still a little bit like wet sand, but a little bit more moldable now. Okay, now we're adding in our vanilla. And at this point you can also add in your baking powder and salt. I just forgot to do it earlier, if we're being honest. <laughs> If you're gonna do this, please wash your hands, by the way. I'm doing this because I'm making these cookies strictly only for my family. I would never, ever, 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 ever do this with my hands if I were gifting these to someone else. Regardless, please wash your hands. <laughs> we're just gonna be using a spatula. Since we're not mixing anything anymore, we're just folding in the last ingredients. And at this point, you're gonna wanna add your chocolate chips and oatmeal. So I say that while you're mixing in everything at the end, you're gonna wanna at this point preheat your oven at 350. Since these cookies contain butter, 
it does a really good job of not sticking to the baking sheet anyway but I always spray it with a little bit of cooking spray anyway just to be on the safe side <laughs> probably film this huh not me nobody gives a single care in the world about me oh that was sad I'm sorry I didn't mean that I didn't mean that cranberries, raspberries, cinnamon, peanut butter chips, caramel chips, milk chocolate, white chocolate, nuts, you know, add in anything. Who do it? Who says you can't? Who's gonna tell you no? Not me. You're gonna put these in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, yummy. We're done. These look good, they smell good. I hope you like, I hope you enjoy. Love you so much. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>